Hello, good morning. Welcome to our channel Yushi Talks and today we are going to talk about uh, Kim Kardashian and the kidnapping that happened in the year 2016. Now, one of the men waiting to stand trial for the highest test written a tell-all book about that fateful October night in 2016. We have a lot of details of how this kidnapping happened, how much money uh, did they make and what were the problems that they faced during the highest. Believe me, we have got a lot of details. Please watch the complete video and also subscribe to my channel channel let's get started it was one of the biggest showbiz stories of the decade. Kim Kardashian held at gunpoint in Paris while robbers made off with 7 million euros worth of gems, including her 3.5 million euros engagement ring. The reality television star who was in the city for Paris Fashion Week says that he, she pleaded for her life as she was gagged and restrained by five men dressed as police officers who burst into her hotel room while she slept. Now, one of the men standing uh, waiting to stand trial for the highest has written it all in a, in a book about that fateful October night of 2016. This week, French Algerian Eunice Abbas, now 67, has released J.I. Sequestre Kim Kardashian, meaning I kidnapped Kim Kardashian. He is one of the 12 suspects facing time behind bars and says he is expecting to be sent back to jail. He was remanded in custody for 18 months following his 2017 arrest before being released on bail a year later. Various extracts of the book have already been published. According to Abbas, the night was full of bizarre details, including the fact that Tracy Chapman tried to call Kim Kardashian moments after the heist and that he lost some of his loot because of his escape vehicle was a bicycle. Here's all we know about how I, uh, I mean, how I uh, kidnapped Kim Kardashian. Reports of what happened that night suggest that at about 2.30 a.m. on October 3rd, 2016, five men dressed as police officers entered Paris's Hotel de Portiolais. They were let in by the concierge. The group then reportedly handcuffed the concierge at gunpoint and he led them to the star's apartment. The men reportedly entered Kardashian's room and put a gun to her head. They apparently tied her up, put a gaffer tape over her mouth and locked her in the bathroom. On hearing the news of robbery, her sisters Courtney and Kendall Jenner stopped partying and uh, rushed back to the apartment. Her husband, the rapper Kanye West, cancels his set at Mido Music and Art uh, Festival in New York to be by her side. So what happened in the aftermath? At least 17 people were arrested in connection with the robbery. Some of them were reportedly known as career criminals to authorities. 12 people have been waiting to stand trial since and now due to pandemic might not until next year. What about this book? And this is the most interesting part where he really details about, you know, what, what went wrong during the highest. Abbas was arrested in 2017. He plans to plead guilty to all charges against him. However, in the book, he maintains he remained on the ground floor and did not go to the apartment. He says he never spoke to his co-conspirators ever again. He says he wanted to write the book to set the record straight as he has been portrayed as a very uninviting character. It's sad, really. But he hardly helps himself by saying in the work that he's proud to have fulfilled the kind of highest every mobster, mobster dreams of. Abbas said he knew nothing about this girl before taking part in the robbery. I was closed off from the universe of reality TV stars and influencers. Abbas says that he only knew of Kardashian as the wife of an American rapper, meaning Kanye West. He says he wouldn't have got involved if he had known how famous Kardashian was. According to the book, the group used many granny and grand Grandpa spies or older accomplices to allegedly conduct reconnaissance missions on Hotel de Portiolais. Abbas claims that he confused, uh, he, he, he says that the confused and stressed Kardashian tried to dial 911 rather than the local police number during the robbery. He says uh, that he left the building with his loot, which apparently included a mobile phone belonging to Kardashian. He writes, in front of my incredulous eyes, a name appears on the screen and, as it lights up. No way, I must be tripped. He says it was singer Tracy Chapman who was calling Kardashian's phone. He also claims that after cycling off from the scene, he got a flat tire which sent him catapulting over the handlebars onto the pavement. He says a 26,000 uh, euros pendant was left behind in the confusion. So uh, that's all we have in today's news in regards to uh, kidnapping of uh, Kim Kardashian and how uh, the kidnapper has come forward in his book. Uh, please continue to watch this space and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching me. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.